work week, things are going to be shaping up as we go throughout the afternoon. I'm meteorologist Alexis Walters. I want to get you a look at your forecast as we head into a new week. And we also are heading into fall, so some changes definitely on the way. Now, if you guys are tuning in, go ahead, drop a comment. Let me know you're there. Um, say hello. Say good morning. And if you have any questions about your forecast, I will do my best to answer. I'm going to go ahead and pull up that Facebook post here on my phone so that I can uh, stay in contact with you guys. All right, so of course, if you were up early this morning or if you were even laying in bed, you probably heard the thunderstorms that rolled through early today. So that really kicked off around 4 or 5 o'clock, moving in from west to east. Here's a look at our time-lapse weather cameras. You can see this has been since about 8. Skies have at that point started to dry in the Cleveland area. And now we're sitting under partly to mostly sunny skies in a lot of areas. A few cumulus clouds out there, but aside from that, not much going on. Here's a look at satellite and radar. It was a lightning show this morning. Take a look at all those lightning strikes that again started from early morning this morning, moving in from west to east. Now this is a cold front passing through. You'll notice the bulk of it, maybe a stray shower hanging around still, but for the most part, the showers and storms are done for the day. I do expect high pressure to settle in as we head into the rest of the day and into tomorrow. We'll be dry briefly, but we have a couple waves of rain and storms as we go throughout the work week this week. So here's a look at our storm reports. You'll notice wind gusts decent along the lakeshore, especially some even pushing 50 miles per hour, 43 there in Lorraine. If we take a look up towards the Fairport Harbor area, pushing 50 mile per hour wind gusts. And there was even some heavy downpours near Mansfield. So hopefully you didn't have to drive through this this morning. I had mentioned last night on air Give yourself an extra couple of minutes. And again, I mentioned we have rounds of rain coming in as we go throughout the work week this week. Wednesday into Thursday going to be our next big batch. That's actually going to change our air mass to a cooler one. And then the weekend looking a little soggy as well. Not washout, but some isolated rain chances mixed in there. So let's talk temperatures as well. I mentioned a cool down is on the way. Yesterday we hit 84 for our official high. Typically, we're in the mid 70s, so we're above average for this time of year, that's for sure. However, as we get towards Friday and Saturday, we're looking for below average temperatures. Now, today we're pretty right on par as far as uh, our highs. We'll be a couple degrees warmer than the average. Right now, we're anywhere from the mid 60s in Youngstown, upper 60s in New Philadelphia, mid 70s in Cleveland and Lorraine. So let's go ahead and walk through this on future cast. This is kind of a broad picture here. That cold front passed through or is passing through, excuse me, not really dropping our temperatures too much. We'll still stay right around the 80 degree mark both today and tomorrow. Again, high pressure for our Tuesday until late night that I'm expecting our next batch of rain to push in. So first the warm front lifts through pretty spotty showers. If anything on Tuesday, it would be late at night in our far western counties. Wednesday, we've got two rounds of rain, one in the morning, some storms mixed in there as well. And then the cold front passes through Wednesday evening. So that'll be your better batch of rain and storms. Let's take it closer to home here. Again, highs today on either side of 80. It's just going to depend how much sun you get in your area. A few passing clouds in and out. <coughs> Drive home from work today should be looking good tomorrow. Uh, expecting dry skies. I know you're picking up on some moisture there on the eastern counties on our future cast, but I'm not really expecting any rain for your Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon, same story temperature wise, right around that 80 degree mark and then late, late Tuesday, if not into early Wednesday morning, we'll see another batch of rain and storms. Again, these ones could be a little on the gusty side, but keeping an eye on it for now with the passing warm front and then cold front. Hour by hour, we're looking for the upper 70s and low 80s probably warmer to the west where those clouds cleared out a little bit quicker and then overnight tonight skies are going to stay nice and clear for you here is a look at your next eight days again cooler air there is when it arrives by friday i'd say low 60s and then we jump back up to the upper 60s but you saw typically we're in the mid 70s this time of year overnight low is going to be very comfortable window open weather if you do that fall and spring cleaning kind of uh, twice a year that big clean of the house I would say this weekend might be the time to do it and get that moisture in the atmosphere in the house um, and also enjoy the cooler temperatures. However, it does come with a little bit of rain, nothing super widespread and heavy, however. All right, you guys can tune in at noon. We're going to have our latest forecast update on there. You can tune in to uh, Fox 8 at noon. Here's one last picture of our skies outside. Ignore that 32% in there, too, for that eight-day forecast. I'm not sure why that popped up like that. It wasn't like that earlier. But you can also go to fox8.com and check out the forecast discussion in there as well. Until then, take care.